So now you've signed the listing document, but have no clue as to the next steps with getting your home on MLS? Sit back and relax as I explain how to get your property looking its best and to attract buyers so you can happily get top dollar and get moving on to your next home. Howdy, I'm Don McGee, your neighborhood friendly realtor here in beautiful Nova Scotia, Canada. And I've been connecting buyers and sellers as a licensed realtor since 2004. First off, I want to mention that I have created a handy seller's checklist that will guide you through the steps to take in the months and weeks leading up to putting your home on the market. There is a link down below. Getting your home ready for listing photos consists of three D's, decluttering, deep cleaning, and displaying. Decluttering is important because it makes your home look bigger and doesn't allow the buyer to get distracted while viewing your home. Deep cleaning your home shows that the home is well cared for and sets a positive tone for buyers envisioning themselves living there. Displaying is about highlighting the best features of your home, as well as showing each room's best use, which helps buyers envision the home's potential. Professional staging companies are well worth it, depending on the market your home fits into. So once your home is ready, the photographer, videographer, and 3D tour operator will come and photograph your home. Depending on the size of your property, this can take an hour to two hours. Add extra time for drone, drone and 3D filming if you and your agent has decided to include this in your listing package. Usually we ask that the homeowner step outside and leave the property for a period to allow the photographer to move freely and efficiently. I personally like to assist to be on site when the photographer is there so I can help move things that they require to get the best shot. If you are finding this video of value, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my link to my next video in this seller series about breaking down a purchase and sale agreement. It usually takes a day or two to get the photos and videos back from our department. So usually I take some highlight photos so I can start promoting the property on my personal websites and doing some coming soon posts. Most agents should have their own website or brokerage website to promote your listing as well as on MLS. I myself have my own website that I have linked to all the MLS listings and where I can post my blogs and videos. I also have my point to agent website, which I've had for approximately 14 years. I get most of my leads from my point to agent website, uh, my new YouTube channel and my movenovascotia.com site. I also create my own ads and content to post on my Reddit page, my LinkedIn page, my Pinterest page, Twitter, Instagram, Google Business, Facebook, and YouTube. I do targeted ads on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube videos depending on the listing package we've agreed on. I'm also to create, able to create a QR code to display on my listings and marketing material. I also own a, a smart number where I can set up a text code that will allow buyers to have details on my new listening information right on their phone via text message. The key to getting your home sold for the best price is to expose your property to the greatest number of buyers. With 90% of buyers starting their home searches on the internet, this is the optimal place to expose your property. Today's buyers are very skilled in their internet searches, but they want information at their fingertips in one or two clicks. They expect the information to be complete and with all the details and photos that they are looking for. An experienced listing agent knows what a buyer's common questions are, such as how close is the nearest school or hospital? How old is the septic and electrical? Buyers get frustrated with too many bedroom photos as they would prefer to see photos of the outside yard or the exterior buildings. Today's buyer is less likely to make a phone inquiry about missing property information as they are to just scroll on to the next property in their list. In a seller's market, once your listing goes live on MLS, you have to prepare yourself for a flurry of activity. 
There are lots of buyers and their agents searching for properties, so you will most likely get many requests to view immediately with back-to-back -back showing. Remember, marketing is key because the greater the exposure, the greater number of buyers, and the greatest price you'll receive. Any questions, just send me a DM or comment below because I love talking real estate.